to Chef Hampshire where today we're going to be making a spicy tofu banh mi. It's a beautiful Asian sub roll that comes from Vietnam using pickled vegetables and then one sort of protein. So today we're going to make a beautiful spicy tofu that will go beautifully into our sub sandwich. Let's do this. So we're going to start with our pickled veggies. So I've just got a carrot just to show as an example going with one carrot that I've just grated the whole way through it. You're then just going to get it into a bowl, cover it with some boiling water just so it can blanch it a little bit, make the pickling process a bit faster. You then want to go in with about half a tablespoon of sugar and then about two tablespoons of vinegar. So I'm just going with a white wine vinegar here, about two tablespoons. Mix it all in to make sure that the veggies are all covered. Obviously go with more carrots if you're making more subs. And you can go with cucumber as well, whatever veggies you wanted to pickle. And you can just leave that off. Leave it off to one side to let it pickle whilst you then get on with the tofu. So I'm going with an organic block of cauldrons tofu. Just gonna drain it off, slice it into the pieces, whatever size you want. You can make them small chunks, you can make them slices however you fancy, get them into a pan with just a bit of oil and leave it to fry off. Whilst we then will make our glaze and the sauce that will go over the tofu. So the way I've done it, I've just sliced my tofu into slices like this. You can go with as much as you want. I recommend probably just going for one 400 gram block. I'm going with two because here with the spicy tofu, I could then use it later with some rice. I could do an Asian stir fried rice just reuse the spicy tofu in it. So you just want to lay it into a hot pan with some oil, facing it away from you. you. Might want to do it in batches depending how big your pan is or how much tofu you're cooking. And then you just want to leave it off to one side whilst we get going with the marinade, the sticky spicy sauce that will go over this. So let's get on with that. So while we've got some of our tofu cooking away there, just browning off on both sides, we're gonna make our sauce to go over it. So I've gone with two spring onions, sort of the hollow bits on the top that don't have a lot of flavor. I cut them off and shredded them and added them in with our carrots or pickled vegetables. And then these bits with the proper flavor, just gonna slice them up roughly and whack them in. You then also want to go with chopped garlic, if you got it, or a garlic um, garlic puree. You want to go with one teaspoon of garlic, equivalent to about two cloves of garlic. You then want to go in about four tablespoons, five tablespoons of your soy sauce. Two tablespoons of maple syrup just to make it proper sticky and give it a bit of sweetness. Then also want to go in with two fresh chilies or however many you want to make it as spicy as you like. I'm also going with, along with my fresh chilies, I'm also going to go in with about a teaspoon of the Scotch Bonnet fermented sauce because I like it proper spicy and this ferment, fermented chili just adds an extra different chili taste. So then you want to mix it together to get the chilies in there. You can also go with chili flakes or fresh chilies and scotch bonnet. So that's what I'm doing. Get it all in there, mix it up and then you want to get it over that tofu. To so now that we've got our marinade ready, so we went in with all those chilies, the spring onions, the soy sauce, it's a nice spicy sticky sauce just to make the tofu extra crispy before we go in with that I've just got here some plain white flour I've gone with gluten free flour just because it makes no difference if you want to sprinkle it over your tofu just to make it extra crispy and dry up any of the moisture let it cook off with that flour to keep it extra crispy brown it off a little bit more so it can soak up all of that moisture. So then you end up with a beautiful crispy tofu covered in a beautiful sticky spicy glaze. So we're gonna go through all of our tofu, frying it off, crisping it up and drying it out. 
And then we're gonna add in our marinade in with all of that tofu in the pan. You can also then go in with a bit of water once the uh, marinade's in there, just to let it reduce and become an extra sticky, beautifully nice sauce. So now that our tofu is crisped up, gone with that flour so it's nice and dry, then we're gonna go with this chili mix and the marinade over all of your tofu. Give it a good mix in. Get it around all the tofu. And you wanna cook off some of those chilies if you went with raw chilies especially. Get it around. Then might also wanna go with some water uh, just so that it goes all around the tofu and then you can leave it to reduce down into a nice sticky sauce. And then you'll have your tofu ready and we can construct our banh mi. So now that I've let it reduce down, I went in with a bit of water, about 150 ml, and just let it reduce down into this nice sticky glaze covering all of the tofu. It's got that sweetness from the maple syrup, the chili, the freshness from the spring onion. It's beautifully tasting, it's got a perfect consistency and it's a nice sticky sauce. Now I'm going with sub rolls. You can also go with French baguettes or if you can make your own barn mi roll, that would be even more traditional. Slightly hard to get hand of the proper rolls here in the UK at least. So I've just gone with sub rolls. We're gonna slice them, toast the insides of your buns and then we're gonna layer on some of our uh, pickled veggies. I'm gonna make a nice mayo, just a shop bought mayo and I'm gonna add in some more extra chilies into that. So it's a spicy mayo or a harissa mayo as well. You can go with, layer that along the bottom. Gonna go in with some fresh spinach, some of those pickled carrots and spring onion heads, and then layer this beautiful tofu on it, and then we're ready. So there you have it. The spicy tofu barn mi sandwich. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe whilst you're down there, then please do hit the subscribe button. If you also want to comment and give me any feedback, that would be greatly appreciated. Head over to my website where you can get tickets for supper club events coming up. Just sold out all my tickets for my first event in August, but I've just uploaded a load more tickets for my September event that will be happening on September the 19th. So head over to my website and buy some tickets if you wanted to come. Also go over to my Instagram where you can find out loads more about me and see loads more delicious food recipes, as well as scrolling through my YouTube videos to get some more cook-alongs for you. Thanks for watching and peace.